Over the last day and a half, we've had our annual uh, meeting for the GeForce PD Consortia. So this is a group of scientists and clinicians who come together every year and have done since 2014 to try and work together to solve problems on how we can take stem cell derived dopamine cells into clinical trials with uh, Parkinson's disease. Of the, brain the groups that came together this year, as we do every year, are really the leading groups around the planet that do this. Uh, this meeting, uh, sponsored by the Cure Parkinson's Trust, enabled us once more to discuss where our programs had got to, what problems we had, what solutions we'd found. And we're now at the exciting stage where these are just starting to move into the first clinical trials in patients with Parkinson's disease. The opportunity to uh, attend this GeForce event um, is first of all to see the diversity of different approaches from teams across the world. The second real privilege is to be able to delve into the details. No one person with Parkinson's is like the next person with Parkinson's. And so I think as clinicians, um, many of us are sitting in the audience thinking, well, what, makes, what made that person do well? And why did that person not do so well? It really helps us to um, design a little bit better what we're going to do ourselves. I have Parkinson's, so I'm always interested in anything new that's coming along, which not, it's not necessarily a cure, but if we, if we don't have symptoms anymore, we, we don't care about the terminology. And to have some, not just some, but the leading experts in this field together around the same table is absolutely superb and is a great credit to Q Parkinson's. The group from Japan, led by Jun Takahashi, actually announced in uh, November of last year that they transplanted their first patient. So that was very exciting for the whole consortium. We now have a patient who has been grafted with stem cell derived dopamine cells. And we were hearing about the fact that that had gone well. The group in New York, led by uh, Lorenz Studer, another pioneer in the field, are now at the point where they're just getting final approval to take that forward. And within the European group, we are also now at the stage where we're manufacturing the cells which we want to use in a trial. So we're now moving, uh, hopefully, towards a trial next year. We've been really been able to help each other, get insights, get new input, get a few, oh, got to go back and check that. And then in the end, we're gonna, we move faster towards patients and we move faster with better cells. So it's, it's really a fantastic network. The time it will take from these sort of first trials, if you like, to become a more routine therapy is difficult to predict. What I can say is it will take a little time, but the investment which pharma has now put into this is huge. There's a real sense that we can get this quickly to trial, through trials, and to everybody who would benefit from this type of treatment. I think cooperation between patients and researchers and doctors are very important to make a new treatment. And also, it is very important to believe the future. So let's make the future together.